Good morning and welcome to week 16 and this is where you'll get our song of the month. So if you'll just click here and you'll be able to play the song of the month um, when you go back to your lesson or go to your lesson. And then this is the composer for a musical ballet called, or a ballet called The Nutcracker. And his name is Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky and he was from Russia. Um, but very famous composer, and we're going to learn a little bit more about him. I'm going to come up here to this place that says Song Hub, so you can do the same thing if you want to when you go there, and it gives you a little bit more information about him. But we're going to look right here to learn a little bit more about the Nutcracker. So the story begins with Clara's dream of a Nutcracker fighting a life-size Mouse King. And of course it says right here, that's weird. So he's fighting a, a big old life-size mouse king. Clara helps defeat the mouse king and the nutcracker turns into a prince. Clara and the prince travel to the land of snow and the land of sweets. In the land of sweets, they meet the sugar plum fairy in the dance of the sugar plum fairy. They tell the sugar plum fairy of their adventures. The sugar plum fairy helps them celebrate with dances from various countries of the world. Spanish, Arabian, Chinese, Russian, and of course the one we're looking at today is the Chinese dance. And we'll learn more about that in just a moment. But it says the story ends with Clara waking from her dream with her Nutcracker toy beside her. It says this was first performed December 18th, 1892 <coughs> excuse me, in St. Petersburg, Russia. It's based on the story, The Nutcracker and the King of Mice, written by E.T.A. Hoffman. And we're going to go ahead and click Next to take us to the Chinese dance. Now, we are going to break down this piece in the different parts. So I'm going to click right here and click on the parts, and we can see some of the different instruments you're going to hear. So there is a bassoon. Say bassoon. Bassoon. A bassoon is a woodwind instrument. And it's a wind instrument where we have to blow air into it to make a sound. And then we also have the flute, which is another woodwind instrument. We blow air into it and we hold it to the side. And then we have a string instrument and it's the strings that make the sound. And then we have a glockenspiel, which if you remember, we talked about percussion instruments earlier this year. Those are instruments that can be struck, shaken, or scraped. And a glockenspiel, we would say we're striking them or hitting them. So let's go ahead and look at each of these parts. So that's the part of the bassoon. So listen to that again, and it's down low, so very down low. So it's kind of just kind of a foundation, kind of keeping our beat. And let's go, let's move on to the strings. Do you hear how the dragon, the melody with the dragon, was moving up and down? We're talking about how melody can move, and so we're showing how melody can move. So let's listen to that again. Listen to how the melody is moving up and down, and the dragon is showing that. Here we go. Nice. And then we're going to listen to the glockenspiel. So you can see how those move, and you can hear the clock edge feels really light. It's kind of hard to hear, but it's really high, kind of a clinging sound, a high um, a xylophone sound. And then the flute is playing the main part of the melody, and you're going to watch the fireworks for that. Okay, so it goes up and down, and we're going to watch that. This time we're going to watch the whole thing, and... Follow along with the different parts, the bassoon, the flute, the strings, and the glockenspiel, and then the next time through, we will move to it. So let's listen to a little bit of this. I'm going to click it onto full piece this time.
All right, we're going to stop right there. And what I want you to do now is you can pause the video for a little bit if you would like and find something to use, a ribbon or a scarf or um, something you can use, even a, um, I think last time or one of the times we used toilet paper. We just got four or five sheets of toilet paper and used it for our ribbon that day. So look, use for, look for something that you can use as a ribbon or a scarf. And, and if you can't find anything, that's okay. You can use your hand. So the first time through, this time we're listening, we're going to use, um, we're going to follow the dragon. So every time you see the dragon come across the screen, we're going to move to show high and low. Here we go. Get ready, he's coming. What did you notice happened at the end? Did the music get faster or slower? Right, it got faster at the end. So we were having to start moving that ribbon faster. So feel free to go back and follow one of the other parts if you would like. So maybe you want to follow the fireworks next time. I hope you enjoyed that, moving to high and low. And then we got to go slow, then fast. All right, I'm going to move on from this. Now you have a story to listen to about different celebrations that happen during December, which are Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. And so you're going to learn about those three different celebrations, and then you're going to take a little um, quiz um, after it. And where did I put that? I'm going to have to move those around. So by the time you see it, this will be next. But you're going to click Start. In the story, what was the same in all three holidays? They all had a tree or they all had candles or lights. So you'll have to watch the story to be able to answer the question. What was the same? They all had a tree or they all had candles or lights. Then we're going to click next. In the story, what was different about the holidays? They had different animals or they celebrated on different days in December. So what was different? They had different animals or they celebrated on different days in December. And then that's it. And you'll click the orange button. Yours will say submit. And then a green button will come up and you'll click OK. When you're done with that, you'll go to this make your own pattern. And this is really fun. You're just going to drag them up and you're going to make different sounds. And then you're going to click the play button to hear it. So you're making your own pattern. So let's say I want to make a pattern. Oops, I'm trying to pull the wrong thing over. With the dreidel and with one of the candles. Oops, let's see right here. Now I've got a pattern, here we go. And if you need some ideas, there's some examples down here. So enjoy that and then you are done. So we've got the same and different. Make sure you take this because this is what you'll turn in um, for grade. And then you've got the Cray Cray Christmas on here extra if you would like. So, and then there's the hand dance I was talking about, the Sugar Plum Fairy hand dance. I think I told you about that. I'm not sure if I did or not. I better go back. I've recorded three times. So the Sugar Plum Fairy hand dance, it also goes with the Nutcracker. And basically he's using his hands to show the different sections of the music and um, it's movement kind of like a ballet. So follow along and enjoy that if you would like. That is extra. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.